we actually don't like the way that we live. But when you're pushed into a way of life, when, you, when you're forced into a way of life, I ask, can you live? Okay. Y'all back with another video. Share and like the video to families and friends. Somebody will need it. Now, he said that they are forced in the way of life. And he basically said, ain't no way else to live when you're forced into something. Number one, you're never forced into something. You might be brought into something. Or uh, surroundings, for matter. But you're never forced to do anything you don't want to do. You're never forced to be in a relationship. When you have, when you're getting abused, you're not forced to stay with your parents. If you're getting abused by your parents, you're not forced to do drugs. You're not forced to do none of this. Nobody is. Uh, you may get peer pressure, but nobody forces you to do anything. You all get said no to drugs or to drinking. It don't matter if your life may be on the line. Somebody be like, "Well, if you don't hit this cocaine, I'm gonna shoot you." You could rather get shot. You know, you're not. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. These people choose to live a certain certain lifestyle because that's what they like. They choose not to uh go to school. They choose not to uh better themselves. They choose to stay in their certain type of lifestyle. But we gonna get into this next clip. Duops come back here to film his new video. Today it's abandoned, used by drug addicts. Like, even though we love the hood, it's outside looking in, it looks like we glorify the hood. We want to be out of the hood, though. That's why we work so hard. <clears throat> so he said, look like we glorify the hood. It's because we want to get out. They work so hard to get out. Because, number one, they are glorified of the hood. And they're a bunch of liars. These guys are demons. The people are recording them are demons. They're lost people. And they're liars. And they don't have talent. They are just copying what they see on TV. And what other rappers post. They know different. They want to get out the hood to promote more violence in the hood. Where are they going to go? These are these who these people are. They're not going to get rich and famous and become a gospel singer. Or to spread Jesus. Or to become a rapper that tells to get out of the hood without shooting guns. These people are going to get rich and promote the same violence that they're promoting now. Probably, probably without the guns. So, don't believe these guys when they say they working so hard to get out the hood so they can stop doing what they're doing. They're not going to stop doing it because they're not going to become followers of Jesus. They're not going to uh, get things to the most high. They're going to continue doing the same stuff they're doing now. So, this guy is a liar and he's lost. So, now we're going to go to the next clip. Z Money's one of the younger rappers in the city, also on the west side. He's recently out of jail for violating probation. This is one of the worst areas right here in the in the neighborhood. Is that in the police station right here? I'm you know saying so. That shit don't mean nothing. Yeah. Ain't no guidance out here. That's the problem. That's why I ain't like back in the day. Ain't no guidance out here. So it's like every man for himself. Right. You said back in the day, you mean everybody need that gun? Cause it was guidance. You knew not to go over there. Cause this person right here was gonna give me your ass. Now. It's, it's every man for himself. You better get your motherfucking gun so you get your ass shot. Uh, he's telling the truth when he says it's every man for themselves because every man for themselves. These guys on the back are demons. They are followers. And he said they don't have any guidance. Then why don't you be the guy? Why don't you be the first person to give guidance to all your friends, gang members, demons, whatever you want to call them. 
Talking about it's not no, it was guidance back then, but it's no guidance now. So won't you be the tough guy? Won't you to be the one grab a Bible and preaching down the streets? Won't you be the one to get your friend's jobs? He further on saying that their job's not going to pay enough. And then you're going to have to be right back selling weed again. You don't, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. You can get a regular job. I just be a, a regular person in the United States, I can say. <laughs> pay, pay your rent, pay your bills. But these people, they want major money. They want millions of dollars. And they want it the death way. You to pay $300 every two weeks or $600 or $700 every two weeks. It's not enough for them. They look at money big. A couple hundred dollars is like $3 to them. So they're trying to score major big. And that's why the way they're going. That's why they're doing this rap game. These rap videos. They're trying to get a major b deal to sign. But they can save themselves. Look how this guy is looking. He's looking like he possessed. These guys. Look at that guy right there. He's zoned out. This guy. He just zoned out. All these guys are just hypnotized and filled with demons. But. That's another thing I understand. Why don't you be the first role model to change the hood? But no, nah, he don't want to. They're a bunch of liars. They don't want to change <clears throat> nothing about themselves. Now, next one. That's another lie. He's saying he loved his daughter. But y'all choose to have kids. And more kids. And putting your kids in a suicide situation. Knowing that your kids will grow up just like you. Doing the same thing. By her being a girl. She's probably going to have. She's probably going to be a hoe. She's probably going to have many of kids. Different baby daddies. So you telling me that's love. Birthing a baby. Inside of a, a war zone. It's like bringing your child to Iraq or something. Basically what it is. Because that's, that's basically what they consider Chicago is worse than um, Iraq or like just the major wars. They got more death than them. At the beginning, they kind of showed the rape. But this is not love. The lady I showed before him was she wanted to get her kids out the hood because her daughter got shot and her intestines was coming out. That's understand. Like she said, she can't live here no more, and is, and she's frightened. So why don't you get up as a mother and better yourself? Go to college, re relocate yourself. See, there people like free stuff. They probably like living on the government government money. They like living on other people money, but she don't want to better herself to get up and educate herself and get her kids out the hood. Or relocate to some, not even a rich area, but a nicer, much safer area. These people want to stay here. These people are liars. They're confused. They're lost. They need Jesus in their life. And by the by the the, the stage that they're in in their life, they probably already deny Jesus. They don't want to hear nothing about God or anything unless it's the devil. So at the end here, he starts to like. You know, get he started to cry and get emotional. And <clears throat> he told me they are forced to do this. And what else he said? They don't have any help. And he says, Ain't no way out. At this at the end right here. He says there's no way out. It is a way out. Just the way out you trying to go by it is. You trying to get a way out by getting a record deal and blowing up and making millions of dollars. 
which everybody in the hood is not going to get an opportunity to be in the mainstream. That's what they want to be. They want to be famous. They want to be on the red carpet. They want to be on the BT Awards. They want to be like the Amigos. You know, they want to be all oh, these false fake rappers. Is These rappers are making their hood worse. And on the back, when the lady was talking, if you listen very well, she was barbecuing around here. Uh, they had Amigos playing. I think it was, the, no, it was Future. They had Future bump in the background, just like I'm saying. Future is a, he's the devil. He's promoting his gangster hood music that's giving these guys hope of making it. Knowing they're not going to make it, they're either going to die or have to just forfeit and live a regular life. Because everybody in the hood is not going to be famous and make it out. The future, these who these people look up to, they idols. Idol worship. These future, these Chris Brown, this Gucci man, these amigos, all these other un underground rappers, mainstream rappers. These who these people look up to, they want to be like them. So... I just want to give a quick run through with this movie to help you guys understand what is going on. If you don't have to be clueless and dumb, just like these guys are, they need to follow Jesus. They need to help promote uh, Christ in His in His in God's word to better their lives, to change their life. They don't have enough. They don't have enough faith or hope in themselves or God at all. But they sure do have faith and the devil and his ability to get what they need to be but i'm gonna end the video y'all share and subscribe and like the videos and families and friends and somebody will need it see you guys next video